Welcome into the extra point here on A to Z Sports, powered by TennesseeTickets.com. If you need some A to Z Sports gear, head to shop.atozsportsnational.com for any of our pullovers, t-shirts, hats, polos, all at shop.atozsportsnashville.com. And Zach, we're still live at a moment's piece, Salon and Dace Ball. And we talked a lot Thursday morning about the recruiting class for Jeremy Pruitt, the Tennessee Volunteers, finishing 12th in the country. And Coach Pruitt said it. Wednesday night, he said the Vols basketball team, being number one in the country, helped him out a lot this recruiting cycle. What do you think it did for him? Well, I think it was a massive impact. I think he should sit there and maybe buy Rick Barnes a nice steak dinner <laughs> because I think the reason why they got to 12, a lot had to do, not I mean, look, a percentage, but a lot had to do with where the Tennessee program athletic department is going overall, when you have the number one team in the country playing basketball in the midst of their season, in the midst of their winning streak, it's an easier sell for Jeremy Pruitt. So I think he took advantage of that. He said he took advantage of that. And it's just, I think it's outstanding of what Rick Barnes has been able to do. And I think the sales pitch is, this is what we are trying to do in football of what Rick Barnes has done in basketball. Well, I think it can show how powerful the power T can be at times when things are running smoothly up in the athletic department. And Phil Fulmer's there as the AD. Barnes has his program rolling strong. And now Pruitt's trying to get to that level. And, say, and really a big deal is you got guys coming in on weekends for official visits in the month of January. And Tennessee is selling out home basketball games on Saturday afternoons and you take a, a four or five star recruit to mid court during halftime and say, there's 23,000 people watching this basketball team cheering for you right now. Saturday in the fall, it's going to be five times that many people in Neyland stadium. So it's, it's just a huge sales pitch to show what this fan base can do at Tennessee. And there are times like that, but also he has to sell against, and if you're recruits, you got to ask the hard questions, which are, what's the difference between now and the last 10 years? Because right. you talk about the power of the T, the, the T that T has been upside down well, and, for a decade. And I think a good example is Rick Barnes has, has done that because it was in a rough spot on after Donnie Tyndall and Rick Barnes flipped it real quick. And so football has been in a rough spot. Jeremy Pruitt could have the potential like Rick Barnes to flip it like Barnes has done. Well, we'll find out here next season. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that Jeremy Pruitt's going to have Tennessee number one in the country. No. Like Rick no, Barnes does. No, no, no. The no. potential to get it out of the dumpster, <laughs> I think, is definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think number one in the country is a little high hopes. <laughs> Just say that. Hey, hey, let's, no. let's go uh, maybe 19. Yeah, that's fine. 19th <laughs> in the country. Top 25 is cool. Yeah, yeah, 19th in the country. I think those are the standards for Tennessee moving forward. I don't think they're breaking the top five. And that's today's extra point here at A to Z Sports